This week includes a lot of happiness, joy, love, um, a little bit of a careful attitude, which can happen, um, leading to a lot of personal changes. So it's a very powerful week. Hi and welcome back. Welcome back for another tarot and energy reading for the week. If you haven't watched my channel before, I'm Francisca. Um, I'm a full-time intuitive and psychic. I've been a healer in the past and practiced that a lot more than I do now. And I work online and also in person as I travel around. So welcome if you haven't been here before. So this week looks absolutely fantastic like the start monday tuesday look like something positive it's the wish card we've got the nine of cups so the nine of cups is what's traditionally called the wish card it means something fantastic is about to happen and it's important that you take the time to smell the roses so to speak you know don't rush on to the next thing appreciate what you already have because there's something really good coming and it doesn't have to be huge and extraordinary but there's something lovely that will make you feel really good emotionally coming on Monday and Tuesday and that may be something really loving a nice gesture from somebody or it may be something you've worked really hard towards and you finally achieve it and you feel absolutely wonderful so yeah great influences for Monday and Tuesday make sure you enjoy it and make sure you take the time to to see it and to really notice it because the more we appreciate the more we give the signal out to the universe that yeah we deserve and that we're appreciating what's coming so it's an important step in the law of attraction to actually do that so on Wednesday and Thursday we've got the Page of Swords that's indicating a little bit of being a little bit careful, being a little bit, um, yeah, not rushing into things, taking your time, contemplating things, making sure you're well prepared, there seems to be something big coming and it looks like it's a great time to make sure you're organised, you're prepared because there's some big changes coming and it's important that, you know, you're not kind of running back and trying to sort out things that are from the past. So don't be too cautious. A little bit of caution is always a good idea. It means we take our time and we're ready and we're prepared, but not too much. Don't be too careful about bringing in this whole new beginning that I'm seeing here. It seems to be quite a powerful influence for that. There's a strong energy of new beginnings around, which is interesting because we're also just heading into Mercury retrograde. I just wrote a blog post about that on my website. The link is in the comments if you want to read it, um, which isn't usually a huge time for new beginnings. It's more about tidying up the past, but here we're getting a really strong indication that as we do that, we're also bringing in new energy and new experiences. So we may be feeling a little bit like, is this for real? <laughs> um, yeah, so, but don't overthink it. Overthinking things can slow us down immensely and making the most of really wonderful opportunities. So yeah, it looks fantastic. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is big changes. Big, big changes. So it means whatever you've been processing and dealing with all week is going to be happening over the weekend. You've already achieved something good and okay in a job that may be a promotion and you may be a bit nervous about that or a new job and you might be thinking, oh gosh, but it's going to happen anyway. In a relationship, it may be a new relationship or a new beginning in one where you've just had a major sort out and have become closer. So it's time for the next level, the next step in that love relationship. And yeah, so these changes are very, very powerful and profound and I feel they're very positive. So really, really make the most of them, enjoy them. Um, it might even take you to going overseas or traveling or going for a big trip somewhere. It's all about change and being fluid 
and going with them often we run into trouble if we try and <laughs> dig our heels in when change is upon us and we freak out and don't want it to happen we can actually really distress ourselves by doing that generally when that change is happening um, it's a good idea to take your time but also to go with them and to go with the flow because this is leading you somewhere powerful somewhere there's a new energy coming in it's a higher vibration it's going to make a lot of things so much more possible for you so much more easily attainable so with love it's all about the clarity of having the kind of relationship you really want and not being afraid to ask for it. Same with jobs. <laughs> you know, if you hate where you are, look at where you'd like to be and you're most likely going to get a good result if you go and apply and you don't have to wait for an advertisement. You can actually just um, apply, send them a good cover letter about why you'd like to work for them, send them your CV and... Yeah, at the moment it's a really good time to do things like that. So big, big changes. Um, they're part of life. The only constant thing in life is change. It's um, a very true saying. And I think the biggest issue we as human beings have is that we want the constant. And we want some change as long as we like it. But we don't want change if it might be a bit hard. And that's just human nature. But a lot of those changes bring us into a clearer, a more empowered, a stronger place in our lives. You know, especially in love relationships, I feel it is a very strong week for love and for bringing clarity to your relationships and for speaking your mind and speaking your truth and truly asking for what you want and for what you need. You don't need to settle for something that makes you unhappy. So yeah, it looks like a really incredible, powerful, wonderful week. Um, I hope you have, a, have an absolutely amazing time. Okay, so I wish you a really wonderful week. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and click the bell icon if you want to be notified when I next upload. Um, otherwise you may miss it because that seems to be how YouTube works. Um, lots of love. To you all, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you all in my next one.